Hello everyone, how are we doing today? So today we're going to be going over the muscles of the hip, the leg, and the thigh. Well, the thigh and the leg. So a lot of muscles here. Uh, we're going to look at some of the deeper muscles of the hip. And then we're going to, well, so here we're playing this video here. I have the model of the leg we have in the laboratory. Took a little video of it. And we're going to go through and label the important parts. So we're going to label the parts of the thigh up here. Then we'll go down to the parts of the leg. Not as complex as the forearm, thankfully. Uh, but the thigh has a bunch of muscles in it uh, that we'll go over as well. And there's some that are named not on their location. They get special names. And then we're going to look at the inner muscles here of the hip, uh, gluteus maximus, and so forth as we go through this. So first we're going to be looking at all these muscles, the hamstrings, the, um, the inner thigh, and your quads, and then down here for your calf or your gastrocnemius and your soleus. So starting back here, let's go back up here to the quad. Let's start out at the simplest part where most people have a decent understanding. So right here is a good starting spot. So let's move ahead just a little bit to there. So we can see the knee at least a little bit. Perfect. I wanted to see this muscle down here too, because we're going to label that as well. Now let's draw our lines and start labeling. First, we have four muscles of the quadriceps femoris. Uh, first one here is the rectus femoris, and then there are three vastus muscles. There's a vastus lateralis, which is on the lateral side. There's a vastus medialis, which is on the medial side, and there's a vastus intermedius, which is intermediate and it's deep. So we can't see that on this model right here. Uh, so that's what those three we'll label those then once we get to the labeling step the strap like muscle is one that's kind of named uh, randomly uh, so this is the sartorius right here uh, now on the outside here so this would be the inner thigh this would be the gracilis and then there's a couple different muscles right in here but we're just going to name one of them these are all adductor muscles we'll name the adductor magnus when we look at the other angle, but right here would be the adductor longus. There's also an adductor brevis in here as well. Then we come up here to, you know, kind of like the deep thigh area or inner groin here. This is the pectineus. Uh, we'll, we'll label these once we get there. I have a better angle to see more of these. Uh, but so I'll play ahead and then we'll label this part of the hip right here for some of the deep hip muscles. So there's that one uh, we have Oh, we can label this one because this one kind of wraps around. This is the iliacus. And then right here, this one connecting to the iliotibial band is the tensor fascia latte. Okay, so now let's pen them in. I think I have them all written down here. So starting out with the big one. So here you can see the fibers coming in. So this would be a bipennate muscle. This is the rectus femoris. One of the more powerful muscles in the body because of the five how many muscle fibers there are and how they connect on this middle one here this one is the vastus lateralis and then this one is the vastus medialis this one then is the sartorius it's the strap like muscle the one right on the inner thigh running parallel down here this is the gracilis then we have the adductor longus and then finally, the last couple here, this one going deep down in here, this one is the pectineus. Like I said, there's a couple in here that aren't nicely named. Um, oh, we could label this one right here, I guess. Uh, this one, no, it's not a straight line. This one is the psoas major. Now we don't see the psoas minor on this one, but we're gonna go into 3D organ and I'll show it to you there as well. Uh, and then right here is the iliacus. And then the tensor fascia latte, AE. All right, that's all those. I think I got them all. <laughs> so uh, there's the first step. So let's move on to the next one now. Let's clear that and play ahead a little bit. Now I'm not gonna write these ones in, but here, you see how I turned it? So here we're looking at the quadriceps and now we're turning towards the inner thigh. So when we do this turn, there's a couple important muscles in here. So I'll stop it just to label it. Uh, we have one right here. That's the obturator internus. This actually wraps around and then inserts onto the femur. So actually wraps pretty far around. I'll show you how that works then in 3D organon. And then right here, we have the uh, coccygeus. 
So right here would be the bottom of the sacrum and the coccyx. And then right in here, there's a muscle. The yellow here are nerves, but there's a muscle down there too. That's an important one. It's called the piriformis. Uh, so here again, this one is the obturator internus. So the obturator foramen would be right in there in the hip. Remember the skeletal system. And then this one is the coccygeus. And then this one is the piriformis. So piriformis, coccygeus, and obturator internus. That's all I have on that angle right there. All right, let's uh, continue ahead in the video here. And let's go to the next angle. Uh, so this one is now looking at your hamstrings. So here we see the big gluteus maximus right there. And right there would be the gluteus uh, medius. We'll show the gluteus minimus then on 3D organon. Oops, kind of jumped here. Ah, sorry. So I want this angle. I want to see the sartorius. Right there is good. Okay, so let's draw our lines here. So again, these are the hamstrings or the posterior side of the leg. So over here is the biceps femoris. Don't, <laughs> it happens. Don't write biceps brachii. Biceps femoris is on the leg. So there are two heads on this one as well. Vastus lateralis would be right over there on that side. Uh, now, as we move through here, these two are confusing. Um, not really, but you just have to remember them. Uh, Semitendinosis and semimembranosis. How to remember these two? Semitendinosis connects to this tendon down here. It's a longer tendon that wraps around if you're looking at the model. Semimembranosis is on the medial side, and there's an M in membranosis. So that's how I remember those two. Uh, doesn't connect to that longer tendon, and it's also on the medial side. Uh, then here would be that gracilis again. Right here would be the sartorius again. And then here, like I said, I'd label on this side. This is the adductor magnus. So a lot easier to label on this side. So let's, let's pen these ones in. So semitendinosis, semimembranosis. Sorry, it's not super lined up there. I just didn't want to write on myself. And then we have the gracilis over here, the biceps femoris, adductor magnus. And the last one then we labeled before just to show you where it goes though, sartorius. So that's the strap-like muscle that wraps around the uh, quad region or the front of the thigh. All right, so that's th this labeling. So now we can move on here to the leg. Uh, so the leg is not as bad as the forearm, thankfully. Again, we will go through the um, glutes in the next part of the video. So going down here, starting right here. Let's maybe find a less blurry spot. Actually, I do want to see those tendons up there. So let's leave those in just a little bit and let's draw our line. line. So only four I want to label here. We have the, so right here is the tibia. Tibia is coming down. This is the anterior crest of the tibia. So this is the tibialis anterior. And then we have this long muscle that then comes down and connects to each of these tendons, which spans out to the foot. So just like on the hand, on the forearm, we had this, an extensor digitorum longus, we have an extensor digitorum longus here as well. And then over here, uh, these are two heads that then connect to this tendon as they run down. Remember, the lateral side of the leg here has a fibula. This is actually the fibularis longus. And then down here, there's this feather-like one, this uh, unipennant muscle, and that's the fibularis brevis. So that's all I wanted to label here. So uh, fibularis brevis. And then this one is the fibularis longus. This one then connecting down here is the extensor digitorum longus. Now, I'm not looking at the deep muscles here. Uh, so these are just the superficial ones. So know that there are more than this longus. And then, then, yeah, and then this last one is the tibialis anterior. All right, that's all I wanted to label on the anterior aspect of the leg. Now we get to go to the posterior aspect. So on the posterior aspect, there's only a couple I wanted to highlight here. So we go to about, now you're seeing why I have the rubber bands holding this together. Angle it to about right there to see this two heads of the gastrocnemius here. Uh, so this is a good angle right here. So gastrocnemius, this is your main calf muscle. So there are two heads on it, so that'd be gastrocnemius. And then there's this, it gets its name because it's supposed to be a fish-like muscle. It's actually called the soleus. 
Um, and then right here, just like on the forum again, except here it's a flexor. We had an extensor digitorum longus. Now we have a flexor digitorum longus going down here and then going to the toes. And then in here, there is a, another muscle. Last one I wanted to label. Now, so on the forearm, we labeled a lot of that went, a lot that went to the thumb. They were all pollicis. Now we have a new one here. We're just going to label one. This is the flexor hallucis longus. All right, so going through these now, this is the gastrocnemius. This one is then the soleus, which apparently is named after a fish. I don't know. I didn't name it. Then we have the flexor digitorum longus. Apologies if you hear a dog barking in the background at any point in this video. And then the flexor hallucis longus. So there. Not too bad. Not as many lines as I drew on the forearm. So I'm being kind here. But there, remember, there are some deeper ones here. And now let's look at these in 3D Organon. So let's erase this and then open up 3D Organon here. And these ones, this is nice, especially for the muscles of the hip and the pelvic floor here. Uh, so we zoom in, looking at the hip here. He'll, here's that iliacus. And then here's the psoas major, and then this is the little one here is the psoas minor, uh, connecting up here to the uh, lumbar vertebrae. And then deep in here, that's where we have the obturator internus. Then the obturator internus wraps all the way around here to the greater trochanter on the femur. It's kind of neat how that works. And then uh, back down in there, that's that coccygeus one I, I was showing earlier. And there's also an iliococcygeus down there too. And then this is called the, these are all the muscles of the pelvic floor, but we're not going to get into too many details there. Then over here, this is everyone's favorite, the gluteus maximus. If you remove the gluteus maximus, then you have the gluteus medius right there. Uh, then you remove the gluteus medius and there is the gluteus minimus. Uh, again, connecting to the head of, well, not the head, but the trochanter area on the femur. So we see all of these, just like the rotator cuff muscles, these are kind of like the um, hip cuff muscles, made that up. Um, so here with a, a gemellus uh, superior, then there's gemellus inferior, there's the obturator internus, and then that's the quadratus uh, femoris. Now we're, gonna, we're don't, not getting into de too much detail on those ones, but I just wanted to highlight them for you. And then right here is that tensor fascia latte. Right here's the strap-like muscle coming down through that sartorius and looking at the different muscles of the quads. Right there's the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis. If we hide the rectus femoris, there's the vastus intermedius right in there too. So kind of neat. Uh, so we, hiding the sartorius now, we see the pectineus. And then there inside is the adductor brevis. We couldn't see that on the model. And right here is that longus. And then deep inside is that magnus. So remember, we labeled it on this side over here because it's a little easier to see. Uh, and then right there on the inner uh, groin right there, the thigh, there's uh, the groin, the, we have the gracilis. And then back here coming around, so there's the gracilis magnus, and then there's the semimembranosis. Again, it's the medial side. And then here's the semitendinosis, and you see it connected to a long tendon at the base. And then here's the biceps femoris. So just breaking down the thigh right here. Uh, then we move down to the leg. So down here on the leg, the tibialis anterior is a big one. We go to the lateral side, right here's the fibularis longus. Right there's that extensor digitorum longus. You see all these tendons going down the digits then. Uh, there are some smaller muscles in here, but we're not too worried about them. And then here's the fibularis brevis. Back here is the soleus. Let's isolate the soleus. I don't know. I don't see a fish. Apparently, it's supposed to look like a flat, flounder-like fish. I guess maybe if you put an eye up there. Okay, I believe it. Here's the gastrocnemius. Then um, you see the two heads on the gastrocnemius, or better known as your calf muscle. So if we hide the gastrocnemius, there's the Achilles tendon right here, uh, hiding the soleus. There's also a little one that we couldn't see on the model, that's the plantaris muscle. And then back here, we have that flexor digitorum longus. There's a deep one, there's a flexor hallucis longus. Look how these wrap around near the calcaneus right here. And then deep, deep inside is the tibialis posterior as well. But we're not going into that much detail. I highlighted important ones. Back here on the knee, there's the popliteus. Remember, it's the pop, uh, popliteal region. Um, so just. Another one of my favorite words, uh, so I wanted to say it. But those are the major muscles of the hip, the thigh, and the leg. 
So we'll finish here by going back uh, to the video, just playing it out here. So you can see the leg turning and so forth. So with that, I'd like to say, I hope you all have a great day. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them below or send me an email or a message and we'll get them answered. I know you don't have access to these models. So I tried making these videos, hoping to make it as hands-on as possible. I know it's still difficult, but anyways, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.